at LifeSkate.com catching up with Felicia Zhang and Taylor Topp, 2010 U.S. Junior National Champions in pairs. During a practice at Nationals in Spokane, the duo had a very scary fall where they collided with another team and Taylor was knocked unconscious and needed five stitches to his head. So my first question to Taylor was to find out how a team prepares for something like this. Yeah, ever since um, I started skating pairs, it was always um, instilled in me to protect the girl and to make sure that she was safe. And so um, instinctively, I knew to bring the lift down onto me and then absorb that impact. And in fact, if you watch the video, you can see that that's what happens. Felicia thanked me for that. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of times. Felicia, talk a little about how the fall actually happened. Um, all I knew is that I, it was kind of like in slow motion. Everything just, I just started falling. And I didn't know why, because I've never fallen from a lift before. So I didn't really have any quick reactions. I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of fell. <laughs> and you said there was another skater involved? Yeah. Um, she, well, it was no one's fault. She was, it was just like an accident. She was just there when we were passing by. And, yeah. and that's the thing that really caught us off guard because if we've ever had a fall or an accident, we've all, it's always, it's never involved somebody else. And that's what really um, caught us by surprise because it was, my feet went out from under me and I didn't understand why. So that was not good. And now you guys are getting ready for the Junior Grand Prix. Um, when are you leaving? What do you have planned? What are your expectations? <laughs> um, we leave next Friday, March 5th, and we are going to The Hague in the Netherlands. And we're just excited to go represent the U.S. as the, the junior national champions. And we expect to skate our best. Yeah, we were. it's been exciting to be able to watch the Olympics. And um, our coach even said to us the other day that the Junior Worlds is our Olympics. And that's kind of like what we've been preparing for. And we also feel like it's part of our responsibility ability to go and to make sure that we still have three spots to send three U.S. teams like we do now. So we want to just get our best and keep those three spots for the U.S. Any thoughts on the Olympics, watching it on television? It was just like an inspiration, hoping that we could make it there in four years. And it was just very exciting to watch. And knowing some people that are there and cheering them on. Yeah, it was fun to watch and to, for the first time I watched it and felt like I could see um, Felicia and I being able to do that in four years. And that's what we're working on, so. Now Felicia, you're also doing singles. Yes. So how are you going to be able to divide your energy and time? Um. I guess just work on both as much as I can and as hard as I can and just see where each one takes me. Mm -hmm. How does one determine um, which one to ultimately pursue? Um, I guess which one you have more fun in, the one you most enjoy in, the one you can perform your best. But for now, don't you, you kind of, I think you find that like the singles helps. Yeah, the singles, like the stamina training definitely helps doing pairs. So, like, doing the run-throughs, it's not as difficult as it used to be. Yeah, so thanks to Felicia, they now make me do it again. Which I was happy to be done with it, but now I have to do it again. We're really looking forward to being seniors this year, and we're looking forward to competing at the uh, national level, because I think we both felt that our performance at on the junior level this year really put us in good standing to be uh, successful seniors.